This video was a request from a viewer of one of my other videos where I showed you how to install Parallels and Linux on a Mac. The request was how to customize the keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to go through and show you a couple of different examples and a couple of different scenarios for different ways that you can do that here. So I've actually got a Linux uh, running here and a Parallels VM. And what you're gonna find is out of the box, it's gonna work as you would normally expect. So if I put hello to you, and I select that here, and I'm now gonna do command C. And if I just put in a new line and do command V, that's gonna work. And the reason that that would work, normally of course on a Linux machine, you would expect it to be control C. Funny enough, if you do control C, you won't get anything here. And the reason is, I'm gonna show you what why that happens here. If I go up to the menu, what you're gonna find is, this is the Parallels VM menu here. And if I go to the devices, and if we go to the keyboard, you're gonna see a whole bunch of settings here. We're not gonna look at those. We're gonna go down to this customize. And what you're gonna find is that if I click down here, ignore this keyboard menu one, this virtual machine, this is the one I've got running here. If I click on this, the reason it works is it's running with the profile Linux here. So if I do, as you can see, command C and command V, it's actually sending in to the parallels VM, control C and control V. So that's how that's working. It's already mapped for us. Now, if you wanna change that, of course, you can go ahead and edit those. You can just double tap there and change it to whatever you want it to be. Now that's fine. So out of the box, it's gonna work great in text editors and things like that. However, in the terminal, it's not gonna work for you because in the terminal, you will actually have to do shift command V, and sorry, you will have to do shift control V to paste. The reason being is if we look at the settings here for the terminal, and if I go up to the preferences, what you're gonna find, if you look at the shortcuts, out of the box, the terminal, this has got nothing to do with parallels. Um, well, it's slightly, I'll explain. Right, you've got copy and paste, so it's shift control V is the default on Linux, right? So it's not gonna work for you there. So what you can do is though, you can edit it here, and if I do command V, it's actually gonna put in Control V, because remember, Parallels sees that I have put in Command V, translates that to Control V in the Linux box here. So I'm gonna do the, the copy here as well. So I do Command C, and then I'm just gonna close that. So now, if I just delete this, when I do Command V, I'm gonna get hello to you. It's gonna paste it, right? Just the same as it does up here in the text editor. So that is how you edit any shortcuts that you want to change to work any way you want, like any way you want them to be, It'll be it Linux default, Mac default, whatever you want it to be, that's how you set them up. I hope this answers the viewer's question for what they were looking for. If not, reach out to me at peterwidham.com or in the comments for this video, and I'll be more than happy to try and address any other issues for you all. But I hope this helps, and I hope this gets you setting up and customizing keyboard shortcuts the way you want them to be. Let me know in the comments. I hope this helps. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if it's been useful. There's gonna be plenty of other stuff like this and I got a whole back catalog of videos as well. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next.